Brisbane doesn't have street food, but it does have Eat Street. And I'm in the North Shore in Brisbane, 15 minutes out of the CBD and only 12 minutes from the Brisbane airport. And I'm at Eat Street. And Eat Street is quite a unique experience. It's open just on the weekends, Friday, Saturday and Sunday nights. And at Eat Street, it's a they've used, it's situated in an old wharf, a historical wharf, and they've actually used recycled, repurposed shipping containers and turn them into little eating places. So it's really cool. There's about 70 traders here, about 180 of the shipping containers. Really unique experience. Let's go have a look. Donut with Ferrero Rocher. Yum. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the things that we do for our viewers. <laughs>
Eat Street has always had a very successful recycling and sustainability program, but now they're taking waste management to the next level. The oyster shells from this oyster bar are collected and sent off to help restore an artificial reef in Moreton Bay. They have an ambitious goal to restore 100 hectares of shellfish reef in Moreton Bay over the next 10 years and beyond. Eat Street is also collecting cans and bottles to raise funds for the Children's Hospital Foundation. All traders and bars have also eliminated plastics that they serve with and converted to compostable items. Well, we had a fantastic night. It was so good. Uh, the only problem was there was so much choice on, on what to eat because there was foods from everywhere and they all looked delicious. So all very fresh. We thought the prices were really reasonable. It's a great family spot. There were a lot of people out tonight. So that was really good to see. And they also had a lot of local entertainment. There were, I think, three different plant uh, three different bands playing. Is that right? Yeah, three. Three, which is fantastic. Did you have a nice time, Paul? Yeah, he's a bit full because we had those loaded fries, which were donuts, and they had Ferrero Rocher ice cream and Ferrero Rocher melted all over it, which was fantastic. In our next video, we're going to Melbourne for a week. So we'll be catching up and friends on, and family down there after Melbourne's had its uh, strict lockdown. It's all starting to open up again. It'll be great catching up with their family. My uncle passed away a couple of months ago and so I wasn't able to go to his funeral because of the lockdowns at the time. So it'll be really nice to catch up with my family, friends, Paul's family. But of course, we're both from Melbourne and we want to take you along with us and show you some of our favourite places that, where we grew up. So we hope you'll join us for that. And until then, stay safe. And Paul can't talk because he's so full of donut and ice cream and paella. But um, did you have a nice night? <laughs> he did. I did. And we'll see you on the next one. Stay safe.